All right, guys, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you all five things that um, may be overlooked but are very important for me when it comes to early season deer hunting specifically. Um, some of these things I may actually not use as much as the season goes on or I may remove them from my pack completely. Others stay in my gear pretty much year round. Um, so the number one thing is Ziploc bag um, with or without some scent free washcloth slash wipes. I use gallon Ziploc bags for so much stuff when I'm hunting. Uh, these are great if you know you want to pack in an extra t-shirt with you. Um, a lot of times by the time you get to your tree, you're just soaking wet. So you can take and pull that shirt off, wad it up, stick it in this bag, zip it up, stick it in your backpack, and not have to worry about that scent and just being wet um, while you're hunting. The washcloths are also great. Same, same deal. When you get to your tree and get set up and you're sweaty, you're nasty, you can take some of these scent-free wipes, wipe down, and then you just put them in this uh, Ziploc bag, zip them up, and lock all that sweat and and uh, stink away. That's the number one thing. Now let's go to number two. Okay, so number two is probably pretty obvious, and most of y'all probably already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. And it's whatever you can to keep those pesky bugs away. And there is that I hunt swamps and and things like that in eastern arkansas and the delta man mosquitoes are almost the size of hummingbirds um so the number one thing i use to combat that is a good thermosil uh and sometimes i even use two but i really like having this little uh pack on the outside of the thermosil it allows me to carry some extra uh, butane cartridges as well as um pads and I will note that one thing, there's two different, or that I know of, there's two different types of scented pads. There's the unscented kind and the, the earth scent. I stay away from the earth scent. Um, I want to be as scent free as possible when I'm hunting. So this thing is literally priceless. Number three, sticking with the exact same theme as the last one. Um, and again, something that most of y'all are probably already using, and if you're not, you should be, in my opinion. Um, that's permethrin. Um, we all know ticks are nasty. They carry lots of diseases. Um, and when you're out this time of year, August, September, you know, or even earlier, uh, it's very important to do all you can to keep those ticks off of you. Uh, Permethrin is the best thing that I've found in order to do so. You use this stuff, if you're unfamiliar with it, to pre-treat your clothes. And it's good for several washes. On here it says six weeks or six washes. Um, so usually sometime in early August, July, when I'm starting scouting, I'll pre-treat a pair of pants and a shirt. And I'll use that thing for pretty much till season starts and then I refresh it with this permethrin and I tell you what it has I, I'm, I think it keeps probably 90% of the ticks off of you now you'll still get a stray tick or two but I have never been just covered up when I was using treated um, clothes um, so I, I highly recommend getting some of this and free trading your clothes if you're going to be out doing any sort of scouting or early season hunting especially with high grass thick areas where ticks like to like to hang out all right pre-season item number four that's going to be a sharp knife um this is a knife it's an outdoor edge razor knife razor light is what it's called and i keep this in my pack at all times um i can't tell you how invaluable it is you know, when you kill a deer and it's, it's pushing 90 degrees outside, you need to get those guts out and let that deer cool off as quick as possible. Um, this knife stays in my bag, and it is so nice having something that you know is going to be sharp. 
And and if it does get dull, all you got to do is just swap out blades. I keep several blade changes in here. So I always know that I got a good sharp knife um, when needed. All right, guys, our final item, number five. Now, this is something that you probably may or may not heard of, but I imagine most of y'all have not thought about this. When it's super hot outside and uh, the bugs are out, man, it is so nice to have a little fan. Um, this is a rechargeable, portable fan. Um, I think it's for like babies and strollers or something. I bought it off Amazon for a little bit of nothing. But it has these bendy legs and you can take and twist these things around uh, right on your tether and have it blow air down on you. Man, when it's 100 degrees outside, that makes the hunt so much more enjoyable. And I tell you what, it makes a huge difference for bugs. When you got mosquitoes buzzing around you, just having a little bit of breeze blowing, uh, for some reason, it tends to keep them away, away and out of your face a little bit more. Um, so if you're going to be hunting in areas that it could be, you know, 80 degrees or 90 degrees or even the high 70s, um, I'd recommend looking into something like this. This It doesn't weigh nothing. It fits down in your pack or you can stick it in a cargo pocket. Um, but it's literally worth its weight in gold when it's that hot outside. that's going to wrap up this one guys i appreciate you checking it out hopefully some of these five items for early season hunting or maybe there's one or two that you haven't thought of and hopefully it can help you out come deer season um as always i appreciate everyone liking or watching the video and uh if you could give me a like or subscribe that would mean so much to me anyways i appreciate y'all hope you have a great day